All right, welcome to. I'm gonna put this under. I'm gonna put it under a reacts because I it's kind of overlapping. So this is gonna be Mike GLC versus Link Up TV. Uh, this is somebody I believe in country covering uh, the situation. So they might have some information that I don't have, or be able to give me some context that I don't have because I'm trying to follow this from over in America. So it's kind of where I'm coming from at it. And then also, I just want to see if anybody else is actually able to pinpoint what I actually think the issue is financially and legally. Or is everybody still just caught up in the, oh, well, I will, how come you can't get his video release shit? So that's kind of what we're doing on this one. Please hit that like and subscribe. Thank you very much for joining me. And let's get into this one. To Real Stories UK. Today I'm going to talk about the ongoing issue with Mike GLC and Link Up TV. Mike GLC, who is a well-known rapper and artist from the UK, has stated that the owners of Link Up TV have been making money from his music and have never paid him a penny. After realizing this, Mike decided to remove his videos from Link Up TV and re-upload them himself. But after Fair. doing this, he noticed that some of the videos are currently blocked and all of them have copyright claims against them by a company called Bay79, which is allegedly a company that works with Link Up TV. Alright, so let me take you through this one more time. Yeah, this is today. Because this guy's going to sit down on Sunday with Pound and talk a bunch of shit about an argument and me putting money on his head or some dumb shit to why he's been teething everyone's copyright. See, I want to break this up real quick. There's two incidents. The argument I had with him had fuck all to do with stealing your copyright. So this is as of today. So let's have a look at this. Here we again, we go. Scorcher's video. Mike GLC and Scorcher. James, you see? Let's go along to the copyright claim, and we have, there we go, they still own the copyright to this song, it cannot be monetized, okay, that's the song link up, they're claiming that they haven't stolen any money from anybody, cool, 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 so here's my behind bars, which again, being monetized was never discussed. My only problem with this is the, currently, the, the shakiness of the camera, like my guy, like landscape that motherfucker so we all can see this shit because just in transparency's sake it kind of looks booky that i can't see what's on the left when you click on the right so even though i do know the situation is real i'm just trying to make this as clean as possible because there's going to be a lot of people that are just like oh well it's link up tv like it's a platform that they're like they help you showcase your move your music yeah it's perfectly fine but that's why i pay them niggas to get on there i don't pay them to then exploit my music further without either uh, an agreed upon term, meaning, hey, you guys can fucking exploit it and I make nothing off of it, or you don't, you give me the money that you make off of ad revenue because you don't have a license, but you are the person who can collect it, or you just don't turn monetization on on that video because you made your monetization on the upfront price of what it costs to be placed on linked up. Like, the argument of, oh, well, like, it's just a platform. Like, no, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Like, you either contractually need to agree on whether or not you're going to pay somebody the ad revenue if you monetize on the video, or you don't turn the fucking shit on because you got to upfront check on it. That other shit needs to be negotiated. You're fucking stealing money without a legal fucking uh, ability to. It's crazy. It's crazy. So now, on top of everything, these can't even be shown. Yeah, that's what I'm dealing with with, with a lot of the grime the joints right now. Guess who's got the copyright? The companies they're claiming don't take the copyright. Yeah. But these are, but they actually just took my music. I'm they like, are a management music. company, though. These are now trying to take as their right. That's what they've done. Okay, cool. But this guy's gonna sit down and say he's not doing this now. So all you fucking stupid artists, sorry if you didn't get cut, you're dumb, you're phoning my man. I'll tell you, here's a quicker way of looking at it. Go to your Link Up TV video, press play, and if an advert pops up, and you've never received no money for that video of Link Up, you're getting robbed. How, how much not rocket science is that? I don't know what's wrong with these fucking artists. But anyway, I'm gonna go do a my thing. So if you're gonna 
the part where he ends on you go, you press play, you fucking see an ad, you're getting robbed. That is currently the situation. The part that he keeps conflating though is the, the don't own your copyright, my nigga. That's not what's happening. That's never what's happened. They are blocking you from exercising your copyright ownership by having first rights because of YouTube's shitty fucking copyright system. They don't own it, but they do have the right to block you from using yours and currently can like you said, steal money because they're claiming to fucking have copyright ownership. They don't have shit. They're just within YouTube's shitty system. They have a little bit of power over who can see what or what can be striked or fucking taken down because they have the original video. They were up first before you. So then after that, YouTube looks at whatever video after that is like, oh, well, that's that guy's content. So do you have a license? Do you have anything that allows you to use that? That's the situation with the copyrights. But the money, oh, yeah, that's fucking, he's got that on the nose completely. That is, you press play on an ad and motherfuckers there, shit, nigga, you, you stealing. It's just what it is. Grime, uh, GRM Daily, Link Up, Black Box, all these motherfucking platforms. Daily Dup, even though that's on GRM Daily too. Like every platform that has a freestyle platform where their videos do fucking millions of views. Even Charlie Sloth. It's crazy to say, but even Charlie is stealing from niggas. He's for sure stealing. Unless he is contractually fucking negotiated that shit with folks. That's stealing. It's just what it is. Well, I don't know about the radio sets, but if a nigga's doing a song, like on a fire in a booth? I don't know. I don't know how fire in a booth gonna work. Well, yeah, I guess it. In America, it would still be under copyright because you wrote the song. So, technically, it's a super gray area, actually, for fire in a booth. Everybody else, though, them niggas stealing. Well, black box, the freestyle platforms, gray area. The niggas that showcase the songs, that's stealing. That's stealing like a motherfucker. Listen to my man's foolishness on Sunday. Because the reason I don't want to see it, because I'm trying to keep a cool head while I'm doing this. But like I said, this man's going to talk about mics, angry mics, this mics, that. And I told Clarence that's going to annoy me, but we're going to get through it. And then we're going to we're gonna deal with it accordingly. But Link Up TV from this day is officially over. If you place a video on Link Up TV, there's something wrong with you. And if you've got... That's bad advice. That's really bad advice. If you have the financial liquidity to pay to be on link up and you don't care about any of the back end finances that you should be recouping as an artist the blood life of what fucking helps a nigga survive then yeah pay link up it's not a fucking problem it's not at all but if you think that you should be paid and compensated properly as an artist despite a person having a platform well then you're gonna have to fucking take a stance and not go to fucking link up and get it out the mud like the rest of us which is cool too but let's be honest about the situation. We don't have to disparage my nigga over there, but let's just talk about it honestly. It's XYZ over there. Perfect. It's XYZ over here. Perfect. You know the choices. Nobody has to disparage anybody to tell the fucking truth. Put a video on Link Up and you're, you're not asking them for your, for your money. Don't ever phone my phone again, Carl. We don't talk to people like you. <laughs> you know, like that. So, yeah. That nigga Tell like, me. man. That's not my love, love. <laughs> this is the start, Carl. And is this who you lot are crowning as your... Link Up TV is a huge UK urban music platform, which I thought was here to give people a platform and an opportunity to get their music seen and heard by a lot of people. But at the same time, is. if the channel was being paid by monetizing the videos, the artists who made the music should at least be receiving some kind of money, in my opinion. And I get that some artists might not care about the money at that time, and are just happy to get their music out there. But Link Up TV clearly have more knowledge on the whole monetization side of things. And when you're a new artist... And that's why my last video, I said that he's a very duplicitous person. If he is not ex having a monetization conversation with the artists that pay him to be on the platform, that is very duplicitous to fucking have niggas pay you. You know what monetization means for your platform and why you want these videos... And you charge niggas up front as well? Like, oh my nigga, that's a snake if I ever fucking seen one, bro. I don't give a fuck if you are doing business. That's some snake shit. Just because it's business doesn't mean it's okay. That's another thing niggas gotta fucking understand. Just because a nigga's eating, it make money, or it's business, don't mean it's okay. That shit's still wrong. Period. Artists 
you're just happy to get your music and video out there especially put on a big platform like link up tv so at that point being paid is probably the last thing on an artist's mind but that doesn't mean that link up tv should take advantage of that um yeah morning this guy's trying to get me arrested because i'm trying to tell you lot that they're making their money so i'm going to kind of fall back as far as like because a friend said something to me yesterday um, I don't know if I class it as a friend, but I class it as a man who's big to concern, you know, be concerned with man's well-being. He said to me, mate, you've got to realise, this is a man who runs a big, one of the other platforms, he's not doing this. He said, mate, you've got to realise, these lot have got an audience and they're going to keep on playing to that audience on the internet and keep on trying to make out that you're crazy, you don't know what you're doing. Red -tear -tear. I ain't going to let it happen on my side. This is you guys. Red -tear -tear. And even when, even when this, I first found out he was doing this interview, Pounds can vouch for this, I went absolutely crazy. And I went crazy because... And I said to Pounds, I said, Pounds, giving this guy a platform to trivialise the robbing of a culture for the last 10 or so years, you're actually depriving the youth. Like, we say we're all here for the youth, but you're actually... No, 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 no. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. He gave that man a platform. He offered and extended the same platform to you to come on there. You decided to go to RTM, which is perfectly fine. But you decided not to do two interviews. You did RTM, and then you've been going through your phone. You can go to that man's platform and talk to the same people that Rashid talked to. That's the shit I also don't like when people be doing this whole media shit. Stop acting like you don't have the same access just because man went there first, and you don't want to fucking now go over there and have to fucking explain yourself. Man went over there, trivialized it. You need to go over there and set the record straight. That's how it goes. Like, it's, it's just... Man, if you're going to stand up, you got to stand all the way up. That's just how it is. Depriving the use of a proper investigation. Because what will happen is that if he starts me taking personal shots at me on this podcast, I'm going to get so pissed off, I'm going to say, fuck the whole thing and just deal with my man. Because I want this to association. Because legal, legal's not quick, bro. When you do a legal investigation, like if you've been caught, I don't know how much months is it between each, court, each hearing? Six, seven months sometimes. We've got real things to do. There's something happening here. But that's a whole different thing. So, was, so as far as sitting down watching him do shit, he's trying to get my neck, bro. He's, it was a video of when me and him had the argument. Yeah, I fucking done something stupid. I put my hand in my drawer and whipped some money out. I said, bro, but I put it from your head to bed. I said, don't have it. Now he's running around with this, with this video, showing it to people, bringing it up as a, as a topic and making this the reason to why he's doing what he's doing. So what he's actually trying to say, so he's, this is a few things he could be trying to say to you. He could be trying to say to you, like, I have the power to do what I want when people upset me. Mm -mm. Or... He's lying. Right? I won't accept that. So my point is, I'm going to fall back as far as engaging. Because they, they're just going to draw me out between a lot of them. Um, and I want to stick to the facts. I want to get to the facts. But what I do want people to ask today, and I want everyone to hit him up and ask him this. Because it's, I'm, I'm, it's Pound's already told me some of the things he said. And the public's not going to know that he's lying for a little while until we do what we're doing. To actually give you the solid evidence that he's there telling lies. So, like I said... If it, all of his questions don't result in people got paid, then something's wrong. Now, I want you lot to ask this. I want you to hit up Joey and say, Joey, you see when people sign up for Hardest Bars, you offer them splits, don't you? And then even Joey splits is funny. It's like some freeway fuckery, which doesn't make no sense to me. Like I said, I've never seen a freeway split in my life. That's what I'm saying. They're all fucking jingles. Joey's got some split where he gives that like... And anyone who's done a Hardest Bar will tell you, he gets some percentage, the company get another percentage, and you get a percentage. It's like some idiot change. That's crazy. Again, I just, it's the same situation I see, like, um, it's, if you're a rapper and you're watching this shit with me, I want you to start changing your fucking life. And if you're a producer and you start fucking, and you're watching this with me, you need to change your life if you're moving like this. Producers will try and get paid for a beat up front before a song is written, before a song is made a penny, and then also want to keep 50% publishing on the back end. That is predatory, and that's not actually how real business is done. I'll turn your ass into a fucking work for hire, pay you the 500 for the fucking exclusive, and now I'm the producer of the song, and you get no credit and no money on the fucking back end. This is where people need to change and be more collaborative. The same situation with this fucking shit. Like, you can't have a nigga pay you to be on your platform and then say you want to make money off of the video on the back end that's predatory i paid you up front 
if you know my video is going to do well on your platform, then put it on your platform and we split that ad revenue. It does good for both of us. Me paying you up front and then having a small percentage of my fucking ad revenue of my song just because it's on your platform. That's terrible, bro. That's terrible. It's a shitty fucking deal. It's Again, it's predatory. Niggas need to stop acting like, oh, well, I, I, I couldn't run my business if I didn't do this. No, you're fucking greedy. You're fucking greedy. There's far too much money out here in the music industry. And you niggas is just greedy. And nobody wants to call anybody on this shit. That's not real. Joey does that. So if Joey does that for hardest bars, Rashid, ask Rashid who you paid for, for behind bars. Because I've never received a check for behind bars. And right now they own my behind bars, which, was ne which is not legal. They don't own it. So I don't they know don't own it. trying to protect himself from. Because there's nothing you can protect yourself from because the evidence is there. So trying to make this about me is just nuts. Yeah, anyway, that's some whole shit. That's where we are. So I'm going to fall back for me. Saying that I want you lot to ask Rashid and Joey. And anyone who got paid for a behind bars, Send me a DM. I'd, lo I'd love to be interested to see who got paid for behind bars. But anyone who didn't get paid for behind bars, go and fill out the form and stop being cowards. No. Oh. Yeah, no, nah, I, I, I they, they ain't called me for behind the bars yet. I swear to God, them niggas called me. I'm, I know this is an issue. I swear to God, I'm going on there. <laughs> I need the explosion like a motherfucker. <laughs> is what Matt JLC has mentioned and the videos he's put on his Instagram showing the copyright claims on all of his videos, which were previously uploaded to Link Up TV. It does look like they've done him dirty. And if that's the case... It doesn't look like this facts. Rashid, the owner of Link Up TV is going to be going on the Winners Talking podcast, hosted by Pound Sterling and Doug. So at least then we'll get the other side of the story. I'll cover more on this story. We did not get more. We did not get more. It happened exactly like how Mike said it would happen. It happened with Rashid talking down on that man's character, cracking a couple jokes moving a little fucking like he's a big man. I'm not saying he's not. I don't know that man. I'm just saying like he's kind of puffed chest a little bit is how that nigga was moving in the interview a little bit, which just makes sense. You're perturbed with this nigga either flipping your Apple car completely because that shit was free money for years and nobody fucking understood it until this nigga said something. So I, even me, I had to fucking be told by this nigga that it clicked. I'm like, oh, fuck. That's a, it's a goddamn motherfucking skullduggery. Shit. This nigga's out here doing shit. So yeah, it happened exactly how Mike said, though. He didn't go on there. He didn't explain nothing. He made it seem like because Mike put that shit on his head or talked to him crazy, that's okay not to fucking tell Base 79 to release my nigga's video. Like, my nigga, that's, that's some hoe shit, my nigga. Some hoe shit. Like, they should have whitelisted Mike's channel when you said that you sent him the files after you took it down off of your YouTube. But you didn't tell them that. Again, you weren't handling business. You were trying to strong arm a nigga because you understand the YouTube system. There's nobody for us, anybody. Doesn't even matter if you're a million dollar company. Nobody to talk for, for us at YouTube. There's nobody to deal with this fucking issue. This, 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 no, it's fucking ridiculous. Niggas abusing YouTube. And YouTube is doing shit about it. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Shout out to Mike. Matter of fact, let me shout out to oh boy who put this video together. Real Stories UK, shout out to you. What the fuck, man? Man, get this man some more subs. I'm just sub just cuz. Get this man some more subs, though. This was a quality video put together. And I liked how he did them little inserts like it was a, a real crime TV show. I like that. He had a little intense music and shit. But, yeah, that's going to be it for me on this one. If you could, please hit that like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here.